Oh. Alright, I'm showing the FPS because I want to tell you guys that we have beautiful graphics, but it will run fast enough. It will run fast enough. Alright, so this is just a, a, a dungeon walkthrough. Uh, you can see it's it's beautiful. It's, it's scary. It's beautiful. Look at the nice little smoke and plumes and fire. Let's keep going. Yeah, look at the detail levels. Looks like a nice, dark, grimy dungeon. This is the, the design. It's a it's a dark fantasy RPG game um, with online multiplayer components, party based combat mechanics. As uh, there's gonna be a couple of monsters in here, and uh, yeah, this this is like the first main encounter. So there's gonna be a little bit of fighting here when you first come into the dungeon, and then there's gonna be some some treasure here you can. Retrieve, you know, that's why it's all there like that. And then this will be like first little, not a mini boss encounter, but first tough fight. Yeah. First, we get them warmed up in this room, and then here you'll get into a nice little fight going. And we'll keep going in down here. Don't you love the graphics? It's so nice, right? I love the detail levels. Yeah. Very dark, very grimy. Alright, so we're gonna go down into this section over here. You see it? You see them coming? They're coming to get you. Uh, there's gonna be some cool interactions here. I don't want to spoiler it for you guys when you when you play the actual dungeon, so <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what happens here. But you can you can imagine, you know, there's one jail with the cell door open, and then this one's still closed. This one's still closed. I'm not gonna tell you what happens because they'll spoiler you. You know, the fun that you encounter it for the first time. And then there's another treasure room here. Well, not treasure room, another prison room here. And this one is closed as well for future interesting things. We shall see. Yeah, this is the torture room and all the jail cells here. Lots of fun gonna go happen here. Go back here. Yeah, find all these zombies trying to crawl their way out of jail. Uh, my game is a, is a switchable first and third person game. In the dungeons, I prefer players to play in first person because in first person it feels more immersive because it's a dark fantasy game, you know, it's more immersive, it feels scarier when you're in first person. But then when you're outdoors, you can probably play in third person as well. But it's a switchable, switchable, there's a key that let you switch from first to third person. So you can kind of play in whatever mode you prefer. But I personally think the game is more fun in first person. It's more immersive. Yeah, so we'll walk up here. There's a bunch of stuff in here as well. Cool stuff, cool stuff up here. Yeah. We haven't populated this yet. This is just basically an empty dungeon walkthrough. I don't want to spoiler all the stuff for you guys when you fight it. So next week, we're probably going to have our first pre-alpha playtest. So a couple of people will be invited to play it. If you are uh, a regular in my channel, you will get access as well. Just drop by the Discord. Yeah, just make sure, make sure you drop by the Discord, and then uh, we'll give you access to play the pre-alpha. Yeah, this is a slightly laggier part of the dungeon because it's a wide open space, and you can see that there's huge amounts of fog everywhere. 
and that usually kills processors. So it took a lot of effort to produce this level of volumetric fogging effect without killing the CPU or the GPU. You can see that we can still get really good performance. Although this is uh, what I consider one of the laggier parts of the dungeon, the open area where there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of lights to render, a lot of atmospheric effects to render, you know, a lot of lights and smoke and fire to render. But it's still running at an acceptable level. It's still running at an acceptable level. Still good, still good. Look at how look how good this texturing looks. How dark and grimy it looks. Alright, keep going. Yeah, anyway, dungeons I think really should be played in, in first person because it feels more immersive. But you can switch to third person if you like. I've, I've run around the dungeons in first and third person. I think I prefer first person better because it's more immersive. But if you prefer third person, you can play it in third person as well. It's a switchable mechanic. Yeah, there's stuff in here as well. I don't want to spoil what happens, but this is a mini boss fight right here. So, there's something you need to do here, I'm not going to tell you what, because you can see that this is the the main hall, it's a huge main hall, but if you were smart, you would come here and do something here first, maybe it weakens the mini boss, maybe, I don't know, you guys will figure it out. side to potentially do something interesting which I'm not going to spoil you yeah there's something interesting here that you might want to do before you fight the boss you know it might help you it might help you so I can jump in right now but when you're playing the game you won't be able to do that because I'm using a different controller right now so yeah you won't be able to drop in like I do You'll have to go back the other way to get through it because this height i've decided is too tall so you won't be able to drop from there <laughs> yeah when you're playing on the server it will not allow you to drop from such high distances and over here there will be something cool floating some floaty thing that you gotta pick up that's very cool and uh i guess you can imagine something interesting is going to happen here Something interesting is going to happen here, and we'll keep going. Alright, once we get to this section, there's another interesting area here. I'm not sure whether to put a mini boss here or not, but I'll think about it. Probably will put a mini boss here. This is uh, one of the, you could say late game epic boss dungeons, so it's, it's going to be one of the hardest dungeons. And then you keep going, and then you'll be at this place. Look at that. Look at the volumetric fog that's everywhere. It's lovely. I love it. Yeah. We're not faking it, so all the stuff you see, it's actual volumetric fog, which is traditionally very, very expensive to produce such an effect. But I love it, so I'm putting it everywhere. As long as it performs well enough for us to play, it's all good. Right? Okay, so uh, yeah. Try not to fall down. <laughs> Try not to fall down. Because yeah, uh, nasty things happen. There'll be some nasty things here. So yeah, probably don't want to fall into water. And then we can keep going. Do you guys like the particles? You see the little dust particles? I added that to make it look like this place is stale and musty and old. 
So I added these dust particles to, you know, give the effect of stale dust in the air and musty and old. Yeah. But I'm not sure if it fits. I know I added all this in, took a lot of work, but I'm not sure if it fits the the feel. So if you think it doesn't fit, let me know. Volumetric light system giving you the feel, the atmosphere. Yeah, that's right, Zago. Showing off Shiny Dungeon. Yeah, it's my game. That's right. What are you guys doing? You missed out on me walking me, walking you guys through the dungeon. You missed out, mate. You missed out. You probably have to watch the VOD so you don't miss out on the cool stuff. So this this is this is the final stage of the dungeon. This is gonna be where cool stuff happens. Yeah, this is where the cool stuff happens. There will be some things you need to do to get the the, the cool thing to happen. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it because you guys will have to figure it out. But you can imagine that uh, you gotta do something here in order to get something else to happen but I'm sure you guys are smart and you'll figure it out but yeah there's something you need to do in these two places and then and then you know maybe you die <laughs> yeah maybe you die maybe you don't who knows maybe you're a boss so yeah so this is the cool part and then let me just run our, our way back out so we can show Zargo and Buddha who came late what's in the rest of this place <laughs> you got busy you want to play a knight Masachi? Cool. yeah knights knights are going to be the first characters in the game and then we're going to have archers and then the other two core classes we're going to add in the game will be uh, healers and mages there's no healer class and there's no mage class we combined all the healers into one healer class, combined all the mages into one mage class because this is just testing so they'll have like ridiculously overpowered spells because they have, we're supposed to have maybe five or six mage classes spread out and all the skills will be in different classes but then you know because for testing we're just going to make it simple, all the mages are going to have you know spells from like five or six subclasses so they're going to be completely overpowered and the healers as well. There's gonna be like clerics, druids, shaman, you know, they have like a lot of healers. We just bundle them into one for testing to make it easier. So yeah, we have overpowered spellcasters. <laughs> Spoilers. Uh when I say we, it's mostly me, but I have I have some other people working on it as well, but it's mostly me. It's mostly me. Some people help with different bits. Because I'm not really an artist, so I have people helping with art. I have people helping with various bits of the game. But I I, I, uh, I did most of the lighting effects here. The, the layout design. Uh, I placed enemies, you know, things like that. I designed the, the fights. I designed the characters, I designed the classes, and basically I did most of the work. Yeah. Yeah. You saw this dungeon in Skyrim? <laughs> nah, this dungeon isn't in Skyrim. But I'm sure that there are similar dungeons. I'm sure that dungeons sort of look alike here and there. Uh, but, you know, our, our, our game is based around uh, procedural dungeons, so there will be a few static dungeons like this. This is one of the epic dungeons where there's going to be a lot of really difficult bosses to fight and it's a very difficult dungeon. Uh, so this is one of the epic dungeons. There's going to be maybe five epic dungeons. Those will be handcrafted like this one. They're all handmade, handmade dungeons. And then most of the stuff you fight will be in procedural dungeons. So 90% or 95% of the stuff you you see and play 
will be generated. Generated using special algorithms that I designed as well. So they will have special rules to them, special spawning systems. Oh yeah, Dago, you didn't see this bit, right? Since you came late, I'm gonna show you guys this. When you watch, when you, you see the screenshot, it just doesn't feel like that, right? When you see it moving, it's like, okay, now it's now it's awesome. <laughs> when you see a screenshot, it doesn't tell you anything. When you see them like trying to crawl their way out, now it's much more fun. Much more fun, right? Yeah, I know, right? I know. Yeah, I designed them to you know, like try to crawl your way out. And there's gonna be something cool here, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Yeah, there's one locked one, another locked one, and one that's open, and you know, this is a torture chamber. So, you know, people have died here, and people are continuing to die here. Cool things will happen here. And then, uh, of course, there's gonna be this little secret hidden spot here. I don't know what's gonna be in there. No yet, I haven't decided what's gonna be in there yet. And this one's gonna be open, so there may be some person to talk to, you know. Maybe even some person you need to rescue. Or maybe even somebody you have a choice of rescuing or killing or you know. Lots of choices to be made in this area and it's gonna be really really fun. There's going to be a number of mini bosses here as well before you fight the epic super boss and all the mini bosses are really strong in this particular dungeon so when we play test this dungeon this dungeon is um, pretty much 90 percent complete i'm just placing all the enemies um but in our first play test there will be no bosses because the bosses I, i'm part partially i don't want to spoiler it too early the other, the other thing is also because the boss design is very complicated, so it requires more time and work to fix up. And there's going to be something interesting here as well. You guys will see it soon. And we'll be going back out here where is our starting position in the dungeon. Yeah, frame rate is pretty good. Frame is pretty good. But that's also because the the multiplayer engine hasn't been loaded in yet. This is simply single player walking around. But since the game is party-based and multiplayer, uh, a multiplayer engine is applied on top of this, so the frame rate drops by about half. So whatever FPS you see, the FPS you get in the game with everything else is going to be about half of what you see. So here, I will be getting about 50 FPS. In some of the complicated areas, I'll be dropping into like 30 something, 30 something FPS in some of the, the difficult areas, the open areas. It'll drop down to about 36, 35 FPS. And this is with a 970 GTX. Uh, there's a switchable camera. When I finish coding it, uh, it'll be a third person, first person switchable camera. So it'll be a, like, it's kind of like there's a World of Warcraft camera mode, and then there's third person, and then there's first person. Um, yeah, so when I finish fixing that, Right now it's a bit buggy. I can I can enable it, but you have to know that if you go into first person, you're stuck. You can't go out of first person. Right now, right now the camera works. You can you can you can go around in third person and you know you can zoom in and become first person. But once you're in first person, you're stuck and it won't go out. So I can enable that so that you can do it, but if you get stuck in first person, then you have to play the rest of the dungeon in first person because you can't go back up to third person. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a bug that eventually will fix. It's not a high priority for me, but eventually we'll fix it and make it a key so you can switch between first and third person and then you can rotate around and 
do cool stuff. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys the dungeon. Hope you guys enjoyed the little walkthrough. If you have not already joined the Discord, you really should join it. If you're regular on my stream, you will get access to the alpha if you want to play with us. This game will support up to 500 concurrent players per server, so we're not going to have 500 players in this dungeon, but saying that it's capable of 500 players uh, running at once, so there will be a game mode, I'm calling it survival, but I'm angry we can ch change the name, it's not the, not something we can, you know, we're, we're locked into. It's going to be about defending and building a base and defending against hordes of enemies, you know. Be interesting. It's like a tower defense, base defense, you know, it's a co-op game mode. I can also make it PvP base, so you have to fight an enemy. Maybe I'll do that. That was literally the original design, but I thought co-op might be more fun. I thought a co-op might be more interesting. Working together instead of just trying to kill each other would be more interesting. And we can throw enemies at you, and then you have to build up your base. You have to collect treasures, build up your base, you have to level up, and you have to defend your base. Yeah, it'll be interesting. So, yep, yeah, so just wanted to walk you through this. Uh, if you haven't joined the Discord, do join it. And if you have any questions, do ask us on the Discord. We'll post, we'll post new updates every day or two when I get it done. And then we'll see you guys again real soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you. Bye-bye.